The Modern Dinner Party, a novelty. Like receiving a letter in the mail the old-fashioned way. It's rare, but when it occurs, it's so delightful. I'd like to bring the dinner party and in-home entertaining back because life is about connection and relationships and belonging. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. We are throwing a dinner party tonight, and in today's video, I'm sharing some of my tips and tricks with how I manage a dinner party during a busy season of life. Make sure you stay tuned until the end because I have some special guests to introduce you to. But first, let's start off with the fun part, the flower arrangements. I usually find my flowers at Trader Joe's because they are very affordable and have a good selection there. Since we are still in fall, I wanted to bring some creams and yellows into these bouquets before I begin moving into the deep reds of winter. I decided on a special mix of cream roses, white mums, St. John's wort, and chrysanthemums. I'm making two versions of the same bouquet for the kitchen table where the kids will eat and the dining room table where the adults will be. It takes me a few tries to get the stems the right length, but I am loving this combination. Time to set the table. There will be eight adults and 11 kids at the party tonight. That's a lot of people. Because I'm in a very busy season right now and I feel a little stressed, I thought I'd make this dinner party as low stress as possible and will order the food in. There's no shame in that game. <laughs> People will often not entertain because they can't do it a certain way. I say the most important thing about the gathering is that you, in fact, gather and connect. It doesn't matter if you haven't cooked the meal from scratch. People just like being invited over. Don't worry about judgment. Sometimes I'm able to cook for everyone, but tonight, with 19 people being here, I outsource the cooking. But we'll get to that later. I've decided on Spode Blue Italian for tonight's dinner, as I have enough of that collection for the amount of guests I'm having. I've matched it with my fall plaid napkins and gold napkin rings. We didn't have enough chairs, so we brought two down from the other rooms that are in a similar style. It may seem strange, but I get a definite thrill from setting the table. Why does this bring me so much joy? It truly is the little things in life. It's an artistic pastime for me. I love selecting the plates, the napkins, the tablecloth, flower arrangements, and how they will all go together. Of course, candles are a must. 
I always think of Hyacinth Bouquet and her candlelight suppers. <laughs> I finally purchased some elegant chafing dishes. I've wanted these for a while. It's much more convenient to keep the food warm this way rather than in the oven. Here's how they work. You put water in the bottom of the first pan. Then you put the second pan down where the food will go. And then you put the lid on to keep it warm. Of course you light the burners underneath and those can last for a few hours. These are so beautiful. On the menu tonight is Mediterranean food, one of my favorites, and I find that it's a crowd pleaser too. Appetizers are falafel, hummus, pita bread, and tzatziki. We are having chicken and vegetable kebabs with basmati rice. And a Mediterranean salad. And the piece de resistance is cheesecake with raspberries for dessert. To drink, we will offer red wine, white wine, sparkling water, regular water of course, and or lemonade. The dinner party was a big success. It was so fun to get together and laugh. Now I didn't want to be one of those annoying dinner party hosts who puts a camera in everyone's face. And I want to be conscious about everyone's privacy, but there are two people I think you should meet. The first one is our friend Cameron, who has a channel called The Busy Gardener. Cameron has a channel called The Busy Gardener. I'm gonna put a link down below, go subscribe. Come say hi. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is my video editor, Evan. Hi, nice to meet everyone. Thank you for all the wonderful comments I've gotten so far. It's been fantastic. <laughs> I thought you'd get a kick out of meeting those two since they are part of the YouTube world. The dinner went until late and I didn't get to bed until midnight. It was so fun. I hope this video inspires you to entertain this season. Thank you for watching. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.